Our intent in this EVU mini course is to provide you with an overview of some of the Model S's most unique features. But we can't hope to cover everything, so please visit the Tesla Motors website for a complete up-to-date rundown on all features offered in the car, and use the owner's manual for an in-depth discussion of specific features and functions. Our goal here is to show you things from an owner's perspective that might not be readily apparent to those unfamiliar with the car. The Model S is a truly beautiful automobile and it will elicit stares as you move down the road. But there are lots of beautiful automobiles. It's when you open the front doors of a Model S and allow a newbie to take a look that you often hear the exclamation, wow, that display is massive, it's bigger than an iPad, much bigger. The 17-inch display is the centerpiece of the Model S interior. The display is driver and passenger usable with touchscreen functionality like a tablet computer. It offers communication, entertainment and web capability, navigation functionality, and a rear HD camera display, as well as other apps such as an iPhone calendar integration today with more apps promised in the future. But far more important, the 17-inch display is the center of vehicle control. Almost all driving functions and attributes are selected and controlled from the display, as are all vehicle settings, which are selected there. The display remains one of a kind, and as a consequence, the Model S has almost no buttons, knobs, or other widgets to control the vehicle. The driver dash display provides all relevant driving information, including speedometer data, battery data, regen information, energy consumption data, and other information. For cars equipped with, with these features, it provides collision avoidance information and autopilot info when enabled. In addition, there are six drivable, driver selectable functions that can be displayed in the two side panels of the display. In essence, you can customize the driver dash display to meet your individual needs. There are a variety of active controls for the driver. These include steering wheel controls that provide rollers and push buttons that enable everything from air conditioner fan speed to audio volume to reboot functionality for the dashboard and display computers. There are also digital controls with fixed function and placement along the bottom of the 17-inch display. These controls simulate actual buttons and allow the driver or passenger to control AC and heating controls, cabin temperature, and music volume. It's worth noting that music volume and fan speed can also be controlled from the steering wheel rollers and buttons. The center channel area in the driver passenger space is one of the more discussed and controversial features of the Model S. On one side are the open space proponents who argue that it's nice to have room to put stuff on a flat floor. The open space center channel area is shown in the top image on your screen. On the other side are the storage advocates who argue that a premium car should have a sleek center console to store small, small items, place a beverage container or two, and enhance the interior. Our first product, the center console insert, commonly called the CCI within the Model S community, began as the design idea in 2011, long before EvanX even existed. It grew into a best-selling product and is now in thousands of Model S's around the world. The CCI is shown in the bottom image on your screen. After substantial prodding from the Model S community, Tesla Motors announced their pre idea for a premium center console in 2013 and have only recently provided their version as an accessory for the car. They also offer a yacht floor add-on for the central channel area. The panel roof 
takes a hardtop sedan and turns it into a convertible almost. It provides passenger and driver with a wide expanse of sky. The panel roof can be opened using the touchscreen display and the roof glass is made with special added materials that attenuate heat and light. Living in South Florida where the sun is strong and summer temps often exceed 90 degrees, I can personally attest to its effectiveness. When open, it provides a quasi-convertible feel for the front seat passengers and an impressive view of the sky for rear seat passengers. The interior rear seating provides sufficient room to seat three adults, although recent new options provide two seats with an armrest console. Because there's no drivetrain and therefore no center hump, no one sits with knees to chin. The rear seats have split fold-down seat backs, enabling you to carry large and long items in the trunk. The storage volume of the Model S rivals that of many mid-size SUVs. Sure, it's a premium automobile, but if you need to go to Home Depot or Lloyd's and take home something pretty big, the Model S can do the job. The front trunk, or frunk, provides storage under the hood and can accommodate a couple of small suitcases or all of your groceries for the week. It's worth noting that there's more frunk storage space available in single motor versions of the Model S than in dual, dual motor versions because the front motor takes up some of the trunk sp uh, frunk space. With its fold-down rear seats and hatchback design, the Model S provides SUV-like storage in the rear. The trunk can accommodate multiple large suitcases or two to four sets of golf clubs, depending on whether you fold down the rear seats or not. In the next part of this EVU mini course, we'll explore still other features of the Model S. Thank <laughs> you.